himself was just a wool trader. He was a shearsman, and now he's a sorcerer. How else but by being a sorcerer would he get the reins of power in his hand? Cromwell would be very hard to write a biography of. His public life is extensively documented and his private life is almost entirely off the record. So there would be areas where a biographer would have to stop. But really that's the point at which the novelist gets going. There are lots of books that say Thomas Cromwell on the spine, but there isn't a man inside them. A man's power is in the half-light in the half-seen movements of his hand and the unguessed-at expression of his face. It is the absence of facts that frightens people, the gap you open into which they pour their fears, fantasies, desires. Of the figures of the time, he seems to be the one for whom the arrow is pointing firmly to the future. What he senses is a great net spreading about him, a web of favours done and favours received. Those who want access to the king expect to pay for it, and no one has better access than he.